Welcome to the Black History STEM series. Today I'm going to be discussing Benjamin Banneker, the architect of Washington, D.C., who I believe is one of the most overlooked black STEM figures in American history. Banneker was born on November 9, 1731 to freed slaves in Baltimore County, Maryland. He went on to become a self-taught inventor, mathematician, astronomer, and surveyor. Banneker went on to build his own version of a clock made of wood that ticked accurately for decades. He accurately predicted solar eclipses and created almanacs that helped farmers predict weather patterns over a long period of time. He also used almanacs as a form of protest where he would include letters challenging white supremacy. Most notably, he wrote a letter to then Secretary of State Thomas Jefferson questioning his commitment to liberty because Jefferson was a slave owner. Banneker's most impressive work, in my opinion, is his involvement in designing Washington, D.C. Banneker was shortlisted to work as a surveyor on the project where he mapped out the boundaries of the new federal city. During the project, the architect Pierre Leflant was dismissed and the plans went with him. Banneker redrew every road, stream, and building from memory. He may not have been the visionary for Washington, D.C., but because his memorized drawings were accepted, he, in my opinion, is and should be credited for designing Washington, D.C. Banneker's story is intriguing considering the recent events in American history. At the time of this recording, it has been almost one month since Capitol Hill was stormed by insurrectionists who spoke, carried, and wore symbols of anti-Semitism, racism, and slavery under the guidance of election fraud. Those same people rallied in a park, walked the streets, and ransacked the building that came to life through a black man and slaves who didn't have American citizenship or the right to vote. Thank you for watching and until next time.